like that If she leave me, she gon' run right back Oh, yeah, how you start like that? We spend a little money and we chug it right back Hello friends, it's me Snakeys And welcome to a proper video Uh, sorry if I sound a little weird Uh, I am getting... Uh, over a sickness, but uh, this is an animal jam, and you're right, it's not. Um, the reason for that is because I got a lot of questions on some of my tutorial videos on how layers work. So I decided, as I, I thought of doing this video <laughs> as I was drawing this character, and I was like, hmm, you know what, how do you do layers? Because honestly, I don't know, and I forgot a part on the eye here, but... But honestly, I don't know, how do you do, like, layers and stuff? That makes no sense to me, Snakeys. How do you do layers? Well, I'll tell you in this video. Uh, I'm not gonna... This isn't... I, I don't know what to call this, like a tutorial or something, but... Don't try and take my word for some of this, because... Um, what I may say is not true, though I will be trying my best to show you guys the basics and how I learn layers. So, uh, first things first, uh, my layers that I have in this little window here is layers. And I'm using Fire Alpaca, which is basically my main, uh, program for doing art, uh, for commissions, um, and for just personal stuff. Pretty much everything that I do is made in Fire Alpaca, and Fire Alpaca is actually free. It's completely free. I will link down the website in the description. Uh, just go and check it out. If you are interested in getting a free program, it's for Mac and Windows. Um, now, I'm going to be having your attention over to this layer window right here. This is a really, really important window, because this is where your layers are. This is like the layer dashboard, uh, and the first thing I'm gonna do is to show you guys all of the all of the little buttons that it has here. Um, so first we have opacity. Opacity means um, basically how like like if your uh, colors lines like shading is see through or not. So if I'm on the lines layer right here and I bring this down, the lines start to fade. The lower the opacity you have, the more faded your layer gets. And everything on that layer will fade. Um, not just one thing, everything will fade. So I like to keep my lines at 100% opacity. And if I do the base color, everything will get lighter. Now, you're like, but since why are all these on different layers? Well, I like to color in markings of characters on different layers. And these layers are called clipping layers. So basically, what clipping does is everything that I've drawn on this layer um, will be like, basically this is how you color in the lines. So I'm going to show you. So I'm going to add a layer here. This button right here is adding layer tab, adding blank layer. And I'm going to draw, ooh, I don't know, a dot, right? <laughs> I will add another layer over this one. And then I will cl click clipping right here. And as you can see, it shows you that this layer is now clipped. And you can just draw over it however you want. Um, Protect Alpha is a different kind of thing. Protect Alpha is basically clipping, but clipping means that it's on a different layer. If you want to change the color of this, but you don't want to redraw it, you can click Protect Alpha. And basically, that everything that's on that layer, you will be able to color in. So if I wanted to make the line art layer a bit a lighter color, like brown, I would go to liner and I click protect alpha and I would be able to color on the liner but I don't want to do that yet because I haven't done shading yet. Um, so that's basically clipping and protect alpha. Lock is pretty basic. Lock is basically where you lock the layer so you can't delete it or merge the layer just in case you know you have uh, slippy shaky hands like me. Uh, I don't normally lock layers 
though, because if you do accidentally delete the layer, you could just undo with Command or Control Z. Now, uh, down here, we already expressed that this is adding a layer. This is adding a folder, and folders are pretty tricky. Um, but basically what folders are is you have your layer, you can drag the layer into the folder, and it will be in the folder. Folders work like layers when you're on the into this overview, um, but folders have their own separate like canvas sort of thing, right? You can delete the folder, blah, blah, blah. I can go more in depth in folders in another video because those are kind of, those are tricky, but I don't normally use folders for small for thing illustrations like this. Uh, now, this is duplicate layer. So if I want to have another lines layer, I can just click that and I will have a second lines layer. This is merge layers, which basically is why I didn't uh, merge my layers. Normally when I'm done coloring, like I am done coloring now, uh, I will merge my layers um, down into this color so I only have one layer for color. This uh, keeps it not as messy for me, uh, but you don't have to do this, obviously. Uh, excuse me, I have to burp. Okay, I am back. Uh, I had to sneeze and stuff. Anyway, so um, what I was about to do is I didn't merge all these layers yet because I wanted to show you how to do it. So if I go to the top of these clipping layers, all these layers, by the way, are clipped to this one layer, just so you know. Anyway, um, if I go to the top layer here, I can't merge it down because the this layer hat is not clipped to eyes and shine. So what you want to do is you want to go to the lowest layer over the layer that you were clipped on and click merge. And you just do this until all the layers are merged down. All right, now all my base color is all on one layer. It already seemed like it was all on one layer and if in reality, I could have just as easily kept them as separate layers, but I didn't want to do that because that's too messy for me. Now, I also noticed that I did not add shading yet because I wanted to show you how I do that. So basically, this is how you add a new layer and then clip that layer and you can name the layers. I don't normally name the layers because I'm lazy like that. Anyway, so now I'm going to show you something really cool with shading and such. So let's pick a color for shading. It can be any color. Hmm, I don't know. What would look good with him? I think... A nice warm feel would look good, so we will use yellow, orange is yellow. Now, as you notice, this is blending here, and I haven't gone over that, and it says normal. So I'm going to draw a line here on him. This is normal. This is the normal color. Nothing has happened. So if I click this drop down menu, it will give me all of these choices onto how this layer will look. And you can do this for any layer. See, I go to base color and say I want it to be add. Well, you can change it to add, but nothing really is going to change. But this this is more focused towards shading, highlighting, and adding effects. Um, but you can change it to add, you know, if you want to. So we have this layer right here. So we're gonna change it to multiply. This is what I use for shading. Is on I like it to have be on multiply, regardless of what color you have. And then when you're done drawing, you can just lower the opacity and then you have your shading. But we're not doing that yet. <laughs> um, so we have multiply, we have add, which lightens it. We have overlay, which goes over it. It gives it a nice hue if you want to do a more um, lighter, warmer drawing. Oh, hey. <laughs> hey, Chaos, then you're in my video. Um, hold on. Alright, now if you get another Skype message, it'll probably happen. Um, anyway, so we have overlay, we have screen, which isn't the same as add. Add is much brighter. We have lighten, darken, difference, dodge, which is lighten as well. Burn, which is, don't ever use burn for shading. Don't, just don't. <laughs> I mean, unless you can do it well, but I can't, so you know. We have soft light hard light, hue, which is <laughs> interesting. We have saturation and color and luminosity. So luminosity looks really nice actually. <laughs> so 
for shading, I'm going to have it be on multiply. And multiply, uh, and multiply is pretty good for um, shading and making everything seem a little darker. You know, we're actually going to use a different color for shading. Most shading is purple or blue. You can go get away with warmer colors as well. Um, but I, I like to, I don't think we should use blue for this instead. So I am going to add um, the shading to this. And uh, if you want, I can do a tutorial on shading. Um, but shading is uh, extremely difficult and I have not by any means mastered it. <coughs> Excuse me. I have not by any means mastered that. But I'm doing my best. So I am going to add shading uh, to this piece. And I will be right back once I will come back when I when I do that. finish shading um so all I have to do now is to reduce the opacity and there it is there is shading and now if you notice if I take off this is the button is what removes the layer by the way if I take it off it looks completely different shading can have that sort of effect and shading is great you should always use it <laughs> now I'm just gonna add a little bit of extra shading like things around the area and um now i'm gonna move on to highlighting and i don't need to speed up highlighting or anything uh because i don't do a whole lot for my highlights um because basically all you really have to do for highlighting add another layer and move it on top this is how you move layers you just click and drag you move it on top of the shading and you just Put white anywhere the light hits, and you go into the drop down menu and you click overlay, and it gives it a nice sort of shiny effect on your character. So um, that's basically how layers in Fire All Out pack up. Fire All Out. That's basically how layers work on Fire All Packa. I'm gonna show you a couple more things, but if you already got the message then that is completely awesome and I'm glad you, if you learned something. Um, but I'm just going to add a few more things and show you a bit uh, more tricks. So for smoke, um, s smoking is bad, but for smoke or <laughs> something, what I used to do is use the airbrush. And you know, that gives it a nice smoke kind of effect. That's what smoke looks like. Um, but if you want, you can have your own style with it by going on with solid colors, but reducing the opacity. This is kind of what I like to do for, for smoke, because I think it gives it a really cool uh, stylistic effect. You know, smoking is bad, kids, but if you want to draw your character smoking or something or whatever, you know, you could just give your own little um, style to it, which is what I like to do. I like to go into to do some cleanup stuff is super important by you can just use the eraser instead of having to use white and, or whatever color and that's what also makes layers so useful is that you can just erase if you make a mistake and it doesn't normally matter. So there you go that is smoke. <laughs> I'm gonna do the same thing but I'm gonna do it behind this little card here. So I'm gonna go um name it uh, flame smoke whatever whatever you want to call it um and I'm just going to add let's start with a blue I want to add something around the little card here that he's holding holding quote unquote uh, it's floating it's supposed to be floating um 
But uh, yeah, so you're just gonna add a, a few different things. Uh, don't ask me how to draw fire because I clearly don't know. Uh, fire is very difficult to draw um, if you don't know how to do it. So yeah, but no, uh, well, it's okay. I think you can do the same kind of effect that we did on the smoke. Just uh, erase a few bits and pieces, makes it kind of look pretty cool, I think. Yeah. Um, so yeah, so let's just fix that up and protect alpha, <laughs> grab the orange, and airbrush it. Uh, make it, uh, give it a nice little effect like that. Oh, yeah, that looks cool. <laughs> And then that looks pretty cool. So, I don't really like how the card is there necessarily. You know, so what we can do is move it using the um, move selector tool. And now notice how the card is on the same layer as this layer and this layer. You can use the lasso tool or the select tool, doesn't matter. The lasso it gives you a better um, better uh, way of moving around your uh, little thing. You can get into the nice little nooks and crannies. And you just like to move and you just move it over. I could have merged the layers and uh, made the card so that it, you know, it was all on one layer, but that's doing the most. So... <laughs> Here we go. I'm just going to go ahead and finish up this piece and I'll show you at the end of the vid. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope this helped. Let me know if it did. And, um, you know, if, if you want to suggest any more things to do, let me know. I'm going to try and get into making some more tutorial videos like this because I know they're helpful and I know that they're fun to make. So, yeah, let me know if that's what you're interested in. And thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video that I make. Bye.